She charged past the guards, dragging the prince behind her with one arm, the other outstretched, wielding his sword. We did it, said the prince. We found true love. We're free. He kissed her, and the world fell away behind them. The last two people in the world. The end. So, that's it. What'd you think? Um, it was good. I like you're a good like you're a good writer, so like it'll definitely help you get into college and stuff. Thanks. But what did you think of the story? I mean, it was a lot, but it, it was good. Like it was good though. I just felt that like the love stuff was a bit unrealistic, I guess. But that but that's just me. Though. That's probably just me. I mean, it's true love. It's supposed to be a big deal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess, but All right, come on, stop. What do you mean? I don't know. I just feel like if I was going to kiss someone, I wouldn't make it as big of a deal. But that's the point. <laughs> it's the adventure of it. I mean, why would you kiss somebody if you're not in love? <sighs> okay. <sighs> I just don't think it's like that, like black and white. Love is very complicated and messy. Not with your soulmate, though. What about that? What if you do meet your soulmate, and then they, like, get hit by a tractor or something? Then what? You're screwed. All right, whatever. <laughs> I know you don't believe in this kind of stuff. You don't have to make fun of me for it. No, no, no. Like, I legitimately want to know, because I just don't get it. Like, if you like someone, and you know you like them, that's good enough. I don't you just know? want good enough, though! Are you, like, okay? I believe that my soulmate is out there and that we will find each other, and that in multiple universes across time, we will go on wondrous adventures. Okay. But what if you meet someone that you click really well with, but you're not soulmate material, but you still like each other? No, Sam, I'm saying I only like people who are right for me. I don't waste time with people who aren't worth it. Well, how would you know if you don't try? Uh... Hey, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry I made you build a stupid fort for me. Sam, it's fine. Thanks for helping me. Of course. I'll do anything with you, dude. You gotta stop being so scared of everything. What the fuck? Sorry, sorry, I just figured it like that. What? I don't know that maybe like you would know if you liked someone if you kissed them. What are you saying, that you're my soulmate? No, definitely not. Soulmates aren't even real. Wait, I- No, they're not. There are 7.5 billion people on this earth, and you're telling me that there's just like one for you? That makes no sense. There's no proof. You know what? No, screw that. Why can't they be real? Give me proof that they're not then. Really? Okay, fine. So we can agree that we are definitely not soulmates, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you don't even like going on adventures or dogs, and you just want to be boring and safe your whole life. Okay, sure, but like, theoretically, if we kiss, nothing should happen. Yeah, nothing will happen. We don't have to kiss to know that. No, you're just scared. Prove it. I'm not sc Fine. Hello? Uh, hi, Mom. Um, it's fine. It, we're, it's just a blanket fort. Oh. Who's under there? Is that Sam? Yeah. Well, Savannah, come in the kitchen and help me with these groceries. Yeah, Mom. 